everything that happens happens for a reason. It's for me. I know who I am. I will become a champion in the UFC. You can mark my words. And I know I work hard enough to become the champion in the UFC. And I believe enough. And I'm favored. So it's great. Yeah, it's it's a blessing. You know, I I just feel like you know it's it's the life we live, man. <laughs> Man, good to see you. Thank <laughs> you. Good to finally meet you. <laughs> And I will inspire a lot of kids from Africa, most importantly, like I said. Um, in life, you have to recognize your gift. And I believe my gift is to inspire a lot of kids from Africa that come from maybe the same background I come from, from nothing. That, hey, man, if you have work ethic, self-belief, you can go all the way. And there's guys that are already in the UFC um, from Africa that I think will become champions like Trigas Duplessis. Um, but, you know, some, some kids might not relate to him that come from the same background I come from. So I want to inspire those type of kids where they know that, okay, there was no hope for this guy. He comes from the village. He had no parents growing up. Um, he worked as a gardener. He lived on the streets. He All right, family. If you haven't heard of Thimba Gorimbo, his story is amazing, man. He came from Zimbabwe. Um, his first fight ended up winning. And instead of taking the money, even though he only had like seven bucks or something in his pocket, he went ahead and bought a water fountain or some necessities for his village. This story right here is amazing, man. This is inspiration. The Rock seen this story, found that he had seven bucks and forty nine dollars in his bank account, and it reminded him of when he was homeless and when he only had seven bucks to his name and did something amazing. So I always commend the Rock for doing things amazing like this. But this is inspiration. Let's hear this. Um, we rise. We have been challenged in so many ways and we have always risen above it and still rising. We are the hardest workers in Africa. We are the toughest people in Africa and probably the world. If you are a Zimbabwean and love your country, send me your good energy on my rise in one sentence written in Shona. And I don't know what it means, but represent where you are from and be grateful of it. I always commend positively. Let's go. But this guy right here, you see he's a Lakers fan and he's a hard worker. I commend him on his future, and I know that one day he will be a champion. Let's go.